How, how much do you trust him is the question. How close do you want to be to Josh? He didn't drop one yet. Over there. So we got it going. I'm not worried about Josh. I'm worried about you. Are you shooting that thing? No, it's straight. Yeah. That means you ladies over here might want to watch out. Yeah. <laughs> you'll, hear, you'll hear this thing pop, and that's shooting it through here. And I told Josh I wouldn't turn it up too much on it. Okay. Another thing I always take, tell my guys is I don't ever want them to catch with their body. Because when you have football pads on, you guys saw those pads. It's very bouncy. A ball that's tip of the ball will become bouncy. So if they let it get into their bodies and it hits their pads, it's more likely to pop out of their chest. And you'll see that a lot of times with players. They'll be running across the field, and the ball will pop off their chest. It's likely because they didn't use their hands. But if you use your hands, and what I tell them is try and squeeze the air out of the ball when they catch it, you're less likely to drop the ball, whether you're in traffic or running across the field, because now it's not going to get into your body. So that next thing, Josh is going to turn to the side. So they'll do all kinds of different drills, practice on different types of catches. He's got to catch the ball doing different types of things. He's got to catch it from his right, from his left, coming straight at him. And then one thing they get to do is if Josh is going to trust me here real quick, the turn drill, okay? <laughs> so they'll, they'll stand with their back turned to the ball. So they have to trust me. And when I say go, he's going to turn, I'm going to shoot it. So he's gonna, now he's got to try and track the ball. Because in football, sometimes you have distractions, right? People's hands are going up here. So you might lose the ball for a second. So you have to be able to track the ball the best that you can. Go. And I want them to learn to catch the ball with their, with their hands in that, in that regard. So that's kind of what they can do. This is a great, uh, great little thing for them. I've seen them out here this summer shooting the ball. When I played in, uh, in college, I used to try and catch 100 balls a day, which is what I tell my guys to do. And with this equipment, thank goodness Coach Stubbs provided this for our players, they can do that now. The more you catch the ball, right, doing it the right way, the more likely you're going to catch it in a game when thousands of people are in the stands. Does anyone want to try? I'll turn it down a little bit. Does anyone want to try and catch the ball? Honey? I threw it at her last year and they gave me a hard time. They said I threw Shut that thing up. Turn it all the way up. Helmet? You'll be right. No, I, I turned it down. Let me let it turn down for a second. Catch it with your hands. Does she have to do up downs if she drops it? Hands and eyes. Don't close your Coach Anderson, does she have to do up downs if she drops it? Yes, push up. <laughs> Oh, she's got to go. You might want to shoot Josh a thing or two. Oh, it's, it's, so I didn't want to turn it up too high. I'll turn it up a little bit. Honey, here you go. Unicorn. <laughs> 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 this time I'm going to be the football. Yeah. All right. 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 All